Hello So Drunk, it's Jojo Crawley. Today we're going to look at the essence of happiness and what it takes to make you truly happy. And it may be not what you're thinking. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. boutiques like these all around us today but it rarely is a long-lasting solution it's just a temporary fix we all like nice things and I'm not telling you to stop doing those and buying things from these stores if that's what you enjoy but the true spirit of happiness lies in how you live and the way you live and the things you do with loved ones not in the things that you buy and the material things that you think are gonna make you happy. I'm not asking you to sacrifice anything or stop what you enjoy doing, but it's about doing things with people you care about because pleasurable experiences actually equals true, long-lasting happiness. Make those memories. M material things really have no memories. Okay, so let's focus on two things to live your life in a healthier, happier way. It's, the first thing is doing things for other people. And the key here is not to expect anything back. Do things willingly and freely. Secondly, talk to people. Um, everyone I find has got an interesting backstory. So start up conversations with people. To me, everyone I talk to is interesting. And then lastly, there is really is greater pleasure in making other people happier than trying to make yourself happy. You actually get it back tenfold when you try to make other people happier. Actually, Pleasurable experiences make you happier than material goods. So I would definitely, for the second part, build in pleasurable experiences into your life with people that you care about. So what you have to remember here is to be mindful of every activity. So really concentrate on what you're doing and, and live in the moment. Uh, another way is to welcome challenges. We all get challenges in our life, but there's actually quite a lot of happiness um, from beating those challenges and, um, and beating the adversity that comes with that. And celebrating birthdays. Very often when we get to a certain age we start to think of birthdays in a negative way. Oh, another year older. Really, as each birthday comes around, look at the past year and celebrate your amazing accomplishments with your birthday. Also, it's important to build um, little pleasure rituals into your day. Really enjoy life. These can be very simple, um, pleasurable experiences, but rituals mean to do them on a regular basis. So, for example, let me give you some examples of a pleasure ritual. It could be having a glass of um, fine cognac or whiskey, vintage wine, at five o'clock every night, just one glass to really save up. It could be a, a bubble bath or some really expensive bubble bath to really languish every Sunday night. A weekly massage or an at-home spa routine or even some really good dark chocolate once a week. We're always being told it's so bad for us, but invest in some really high quality dark chocolate once a week. These rituals mean that you love yourself, that you're worth that. A pleasurable experience. Light work this time, um, and if you remember light work is um, like homework to bring more light and happiness into your life. Um, so the task that I want you to do this time is pay somebody a compliment that you don't know, that you've never met before. Just go up to them and give them a compliment. Make them feel good about themselves, because believe me, that will make you feel good about yourself as well. I want you to pay a compliment to one person every day for the next seven days. Let's see if you can do that. And then 
let me know how you feel at the end of that. On, post it on our notice board and let me know how you feel. Second part of the light work this week. What I want you to do is find somebody who's done you wrong or you're feeling really sore at that um, they've been negative to you or brought you down in any way. Find this person and tell them that you do forgive them and they've allowed you to have more light in your life by uh, allowing you to forgive them and moving on from that. I'm not saying you have to have them in your life if they make you continually unhappy, but just by offloading that negativity uh, will, will make you feel better about yourself and you, it will allow you to bring forgiveness into your heart. And they in turn have done you a favour um, and by resisting your ego and your opponent, you actually bring more light into your life and I can assure you it will make you feel happier about yourself. One thing I've got to say to you, never allow other people's judgment to affect you. That is the ultimate freedom. Don't allow others to judge you. So what I'd like to do is leave you with the thought of the day. Only you can make yourself happy. No one else is responsible, responsible for your happiness. You matter regardless. Thank you. And what I'd like to do is a quick shout out for the Marmalade Cafe at The Grove in LA. One of my favourite places. Fantastic stuff. So remember, step into somebody else's shoes and offer them the hands of friendship today. I'm alone if you feel